guys, Red McCoy 411. I have been MIA. MIA missing in action all the way. My husband had a back surgery and my family is my first ministry. So, you know, I did not have time to make a video. I did try to put a couple pictures and stuff out there on Instagram to let you all know what I'm going to be doing. So, if you're not following me on Instagram, you probably just don't even know. So, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, the real McCoy 411 the real McCoy 411 okay so I have made a decision that instead of using all these different brands on my natural hair journey that I'm gonna be trying one or two brands at a time so that I can see my hair actually start to flourish and thrive and then I'll know where it's coming from because how am I supposed to know what's making my hair work and what's growing my hair and what's you know giving my hair that uh if I'm using all these different products so I have already shampooed my hair now the products that I'm going to be using um, as my staple products for right now until I decide to change it's going to be Shea Moisture. So I've shampooed my hair with the Shea Moisture. This is the Strength and Restore Shampoo. I have conditioned my hair with the Shea Moisture. And this is the Restore Conditioner. Restorative Conditioner. Just raw Shea Butter, uh, Sea Kelp, and Argan Oil. Okay. Now tonight, I actually did... Uh, the Ballast and Moisturizer by Afrogy. So that's going to be one of the brands that I'm going to be using with the other brands as I try them out a month or so at a time. So, so far we have Shea Moisture, we have Afrogy, and by all means, this, this one, this staple product that I'm about to mention is probably going to be in each and every one of my trials okay each and every one and that's my hask my bio team boost i stand by this stuff 100 percent six dollars at walmart it will thicken your hair it helps your hair grow in places that like my hair was like thinning out and stuff around my edges and just overall my hair has just gotten thicker and this is one thing that I have used since the beginning. I made a rice water uh, leave-in conditioner. And I'll be telling you guys what all I put in. I put a bunch of stuff in there, but it's all healthy stuff. So it was, the, I started off with the rice water, the fermented rice water. I put some cornstarch in it so it can be a little thicker. I have some uh, Shea Bay powder in it. I have some um, leave-in conditioner by Shea Moisture. Um, what else do I have in there? I did some flaxseed and made some flaxseed gels by using the flax seeds, and I put that in there. I have a really good rice water that I can put in my hair as a leave-in and I've been doing that for about two weeks, two weeks, and I can tell a difference in my hair. I can tell a difference in my hair. So the rice water staple stays, has staple stays. That's not going to change. Shea Moisture, this is an OG product, this Carolyn Hansen smoothie. Why not start at where I know, okay? so. Those are going to be the staple products, the, the treatment mask, Shea Moisture. I'm telling you, I'm going to figure out what has my hair growing and thriving by using one or two, three, you know, brands at a time. But it's going to stay that way until I change it. So I've already done my hair for the night. I've already put it up in my Sealy Protective Style. 
I've shampooed it and everything. So when I wake up in the morning, I will be using the Curl and Hansen smoothie. And I will be doing a damp and go. Damp and go. LCO method, we're going to use warm liquid, I want y'all to be able to see the hair, not the chair, we're going to use warm liquid, we're going to use our Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture, and we're going to use our grapeseed oil to seal it in. I wanted to show y'all how my rice water leave-in conditioner looks. Yeah, all that goodness. You see all goodness, y'all. Look at that. Oh. You have to cook it up. Cook it up. Cook it up. So I'm just going to calm out this part and I'm just going to get started. Wet it down. Speak life. Stop talking to God about your mountains. Tell your mountains about your God. What? Careful. Ooh. Baby, speak life. Mm. Mm. I'm working in that warm water. Saturating my hair, waking it up. Good morning, she. Love your hair. Look at y'all. I know y'all see the growth. You go back and watch my first video. <laughs> Combing it out. I speak it. Take about that much. Not a lot. Some of it, I may be doing some shingling, okay? And I'm trying to start at the roots to get some of that hang time. Opening up my gel just in case I feel like I need it. So... I can't work in the big sections like I used to. Y'all see how those curls just come to life? So this is Shea Moisture with some of the gold eco style. Echo, eco, eco style gel. I choose, I chose the gel because of the olive oil, shea moisture, black castor oil, and flaxseed. And the flaxseed can give you some hang. My words have power. Just the last section. Last piece on this section. And then I'm going to speed up the video. This girl's just, uh, they're just trying to jump out. I uh, can't control them. They're, they're doing their own thing. You 
you see it. You see it. All right. Enjoy the music. Free from two. <laughs>
This is the last piece. Now, as you can see on this section here, this middle part, it has a different hair texture. So I had to work in smaller pieces. I had to split it in half. I had to add the water individually. It actually soaks up my water really fast. So it's, it's a, I don't know if it's a different porosity. I don't, because I did the porosity test and it shows I have low porosity hair, but in the middle part, I think that part is more medium porosity because it soaks up the water faster and the products faster. So, so it was starting to feel a little cooler. I can't have that because if I have cold water, then the Shea Moisture would just be sitting on top of my hair strands. It would not be soaking in. Now that white that y'all see when I add the water, that's the rice water. That's the leave-in conditioner, baby. That's the magic. That's the magic right there. That is the magic. Do you hear me? It dissolves so good in my hair. I let that water ferment for like five days. Now the white will disappear. That's just product. And it has to have time to soak into my hair strand. Some people have all the same textures. Some people have mixture textures. I have a mixture. I have this texture, this texture, and then all the rest of this texture. Okay. So I'm gonna let my hair air dry and I will, all right, be right back. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the finished product. Uh, I have let my hair dry. It is air dried. It is soft. My definition is there. And I am so for sure that by just re-wetting this, and probably using a little of my rice water, I could rock this wash and go for about three more days. There's no crunch from the gel. Thank you, Lord. Um, the definition, as you see, is there. It's, my hair is just, and I'm getting some, some length, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> I'm getting there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.